In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we continue our Easter celebration, let's pause to call to mind our sins and ask for the Lord's forgiveness and peace. Lord Jesus, you are sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made your people partakers in your redemption, grant, we pray, that we may perpetually render thanks for the resurrection of the Lord who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. There he met a Jew named Aquila, a native of Pontus, who had recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla, because Claudius had ordered all the Jews to leave Rome. He went to visit them, and because he practiced the same trade, stayed with them and worked, for they were tent makers by trade. Every Sabbath he entered into discussions in the synagogue, attempting to convince both Jews and Greeks. When Silas and Timothy came down from Macedonia, Paul began to occupy himself totally with preaching the word, testifying to the Jews that the Christ was Jesus. When they opposed him and reviled him, he shook out his garments and said to them, your blood be on your heads. I am clear of responsibility. From now on, I will go to the Gentiles. So he left there and went to a house belonging to a man named Titus Justus, a worshiper of God. His house was next to a synagogue. Crispus, the synagogue official, came to believe in the Lord along with his entire household. And many of the Corinthians who heard believed and were baptized. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be God. to God. Responsorial Psalm, Alleluia. Hallelujah. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Hallelujah. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness towards the house of Israel. Hallelujah. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, a little while and you will no longer see me, and again a little while later and you will see me. So some of his disciples said to one another, what does this mean that he is saying to us, a little while and you will not see me, and again a little while and you will see me, and because I am going to the Father. So they said, what is this little while of which he speaks? We do not know what he means. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him, so he said to them, are you discussing with one another what I said? A little while and you will not see me, and again a little while and you will see me. 
Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. So the gospel message today is essentially Jesus saying there's, there's a second act, right? So there's, there'll be this period where you think nothing is working well, you're weeping, you're grieving, but your grief will turn into joy. And we see an example of this in the, the first reading today. So the first reading starts, Paul arrives in Corinth. This is like a sitcom setup. Paul arrives in Corinth and he moves in with a new Jewish couple that just moved in from Rome and zaniness ensues, right? So the, the, the men are both tent makers, they go into business together, and they go to the synagogue on, on the Sabbath. And after a couple of years of this, Paul intensifies his preaching of the gospel until he gets a lot of blowback, and he says, enough with this, off with you. Sitcom ends, spinoff. Paul moves across town moves in with a worshiper of God, not a Jew, but the guy lives next door to a synagogue. More zaniness. The synagogue official gets converted, converts his family. Other people become knowing Jesus and success. Okay, so first act, second act, sitcom spinoff, right? Just a reminder to us, if we're in the first act, nothing's going well, can't get traction, don't worry, second act, spinoff, joy, it's on the horizon. And let's continue with that, uh, that hope as we uh, finish out here in the next uh, week and a half of uh, the Easter season. Please stand for our intentions. We pray for the church, for Francis, our Pope, James, our Bishop, all clergy and religious, all laymen and women, that by our growth and holiness this day, we might draw others to the good news of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those undergoing transitions. We pray for graduates. We pray for those entering or exiting the, the workforce. Uh, we pray for a clergy uh, prepared for new assignments this summer. We ask that the Lord uh, might bless them with a peace in their changes. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are uh, frustrated uh, with the current conditions of life, those who experience tension in relationships, uh, in their work. We ask that the, the Lord of peace might fill their hearts with hope of a, a second act. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are filled with anxiety. We ask that the Lord would uh, grant them serenity this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are depressed or despondent. The Lord might insulate them with hope. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are angry that the Lord might fill their hearts with peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, the hospitalized, the homebound, and those under hospice care, that the Lord might manifest his healing will in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died and those who will die today. We continue to pray for Jeff Peaks, for Bernie Berzer, and for Jack Smith. May Jeff, Bernie, and Jack's souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God find peace in the presence of Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray in a particular way this morning for Mary Haver. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, uh, grateful uh, for uh, this Easter moment when we recall the truth uh, that there is a second act and that in uh, moments when it's hard to get traction, when things aren't going well, we trust these things are on the horizon for us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he, is he who, who comes in the name, name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, the highest. in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior, Savior of, the world, of the world, for by your, for by your cross, cross and, resurrection, and resurrection you, you have, have set, set us free. free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
our, our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a non-tactile sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of Lamb God, God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Of the world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on, on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not I am worthy, not worthy that you should that enter, you should under, enter my under my roof, roof but, only but only say, say the word, word, and my soul shall, shall be healed. This morning for the distribution of communion, I'll be at two locations as I'll hear for these two sections as I'll hear for these two.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.